Welcome to day four of this 10 part series on solving problems with models and manipulatives. Today, we're going to talk about solving multiplication problems, one of my favorite ways to use bar models. So here's our first problem. Let's first look at how we could use Cuisinier rods as a manipulative to represent each group of $35. This makes it easy to see that we have five groups of 35. Now let's draw a model to go with it. We have two variables here. We've got Irene's money and we've got Toby's money. Again, the model allows us to clearly see five groups of 35 as the total amount of money, something that might feel somewhat abstract to students without a visual. What if the question asked how much more Toby has than Irene? Again, you can see how the bar model makes this really simple to picture. Let's look at another type of multiplication problem, this time without the comparison. For this type, we are going to draw a simple model drawing showing Julie's walking on each of the four dates. So this is going to make it easy to see that we could use either repeated addition or multiplication in order to solve it. Now something that I want to mention that is pointed out by the authors of eight step model drawing is what to do when we have many groups. So let's look at an example of how this might look if Julie walks 12 minutes a day for 30 days. In this case, it would take a long time to draw 30 parts and we don't wanna waste time doing that. So we're going to do something a little bit different. Let's show day one and show day 30. And then in between, we're going to use three dots and a bracket to symbolize that we have some parts that are not pictured in the model. So far in this 10 part series, we've talked about modeling fractions, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. I hope you'll join me tomorrow for division. See you then.